Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics. We're going to work out the square wave mathematically here using the Fourier series procedure and conclude our uh, section, our chapter. When we started out, we used the square wave and an argument that was more visual where we didn't prove the various contributions for the various sine waves. We took those on faith and here we're going to derive them for you. Well, here is the procedure for the Fourier series and we're going to use a square wave uh, which goes from minus pi to plus pi. Remember our 2 pi convention for the wavelength and notice that this is an odd function. That if you look at the left side in this region you have a negative one and the right side in that region is a plus one so we're really only interested in going from minus pi to plus pi and in that region this function is odd which means that a naught is zero because f of x is an odd function integrated over this uh, region this symmetric region here and a n has to be zero because you have an odd function f of x multiplied by an even function you have an odd uh, result. Here you have an odd function times an odd function. Well, that'll give you an even function. So this is the one that we're interested in. So let's go down here to uh, look at that. And since uh, we have here an even function combined, see when you multiply, we can integrate over half of the integration uh, region from zero to pi and put a two in front since we have here an even integrand. So I put a 2 in front and integrate from 0 to pi where the function is now 1. See? So doing that, uh, very easy, it gets cosine, negative cosine and x over n here and I integrate from 0 to uh, pi. I have minus 2 over pi in front, 1 over n and I have cosine of n pi minus cosine 0. Now what follows here is a little complicated but it, it's very easy to explain actually without looking at this uh, just explaining words. So let's look at here what's going on and then we'll be finished and this is just formal mathematics to just write it out. Well let's look at this. You have here n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's look at the even ones. If n is 2 then you have cosine 2 pi. Well that's back to uh, uh, 0 angle again that's going to be a cosine of zero that's going to be one and one minus one is zero what about cosine of four pi well that brings you back again to cosine being one six pi it's going to be a one again so in all those cases you have one minus one you get zero so no even ends will work how about odd ends well n equal to one you have cosine of pi that's halfway around 180 degrees you know around the circle that's a negative one and if you go three pi you're back to that same place negative one five pi negative one and then seven pi that cosine is going to be negative one so negative one minus one is negative two all the odd cases for n one, three, five, seven will give you a result of negative two. When negative two hits negative two, here you get plus four. So four over pi, one over n odd, and that's it. We are finished. Four over pi, one over n for odd n. One, three, five, and seven, and so on. So when we uh, get that far, we notice that we can write our Fourier series now. Sine of x, one of those, plus one third of sine of 3x plus 1 fifth. So here you have it, one cup, a third of a cup, a fifth of a cup, a seventh of a cup, which is what our chef did at the beginning of this chapter. And here we have the derivation and you see the Fourier series for this square wave.